Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 13th through the 19th of November, 2022. Hope you guys had a great week. I'm gonna take a quick second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Also keep in mind that the energies can and often do in my Libra readings reverse themselves. I am a Libra as well, so that might be part of that. Um, I am giving away two $50 Amazon gift cards at the end of this month. If you're interested in participating in that, it'll be to two different people. Um, if you're interested in that, all you need to do to qualify is subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit the like button and leave me a comment. All right, let's get started, Libra. Spirit, can I have the energy of Libra? Libra. Libra. All right, Libra, you are starting out with the Nine of Cups. You have the Ace of Wands. <clears throat> Coming out together, we have the Two of Cups reversed and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so Libra, I can see here that something has ended and you are now single. You're doing very well for yourself though. And I, I see a glow up here in your energy. The Nine of Pentacles is someone who is looking good, smelling good. Um, it's a very uh, independent, single energy. Um, it also speaks to your finances coming together. So you've likely been working on your finances quite a bit. Um, however, it came out here with this Two of Cups in the reverse. So it's, um, it's a very independent energy of somebody who is now single after having um, an ending, okay? Could have been with a soulmate. Now, with the Ace of Wands, you may have a new beginning that's coming back in. Could be with someone new. Um, might be with a, the previous person. We'll have to clarify. But the Nine of Cups tells me that this is something that you really are looking forward to. It's something you really do want. So let's see who is in your energy, Libra. Show me who's in Libra's energy. goodness. All right, we have the Five of Wands reversed. We have the Knight of Swords and coming out together, we have the Sun in reverse, Sun of Leo, and the Nine of Wands. So, the person in your energy is someone who has been either they're conflicted themselves or you've been in conflict with this person. I feel like this is conflict that this person has had with you. The conflict is over or this person wants to end the conflict. Um, I feel like this person is going to come forward with some information. The Knight of Swords is someone who moves very quickly and they are speaking a truth. This could be what is going to end this conflict. Um, this person has been very unhappy. They've been hurt. There's something here. There's a lot of problems that has occurred between the two of you. This is likely what led to the conflict. And this person now wants to be able to put that behind them. They want to put this energy behind the two of you. And they want to grow from this experience. There's also uh, this sense of they don't know what's going to happen though. They're unsure of what will happen if they do come forward and they do um, communicate something with you. There's something here they want to say to you, though. Let's see the energy between the two of you. Show me the energy. Yeah, the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So right now, the two of you probably are not speaking or have not been speaking. Yeah, it's kind of a, a stalled energy. It looks as if both of you would like to speak to each other, but both are holding back. 
there's a an air of holding back communication. Let's let's see what's affecting this connection. Oh my goodness, the chariot in reverse. Yeah, it's a it's a situation that's not moving forward. Nothing is moving in this situation. Hmm. Yeah, there's no communication. Nothing's moving um, forward. It's just stalled. Everything here is stalled. It's uh, it's it it's like a standoff energy. Let me see the outcome at the end of the week, please. Uh, the chariot is the sign of cancer. You could be dealing with a cancer here. Show me the outcome. Temperance in reverse. So there's going to remain a bit of imbalance by the end of the week. Emotionally, things are still not balanced. Um, I can see that there's a need for things to heal. A need and a desire. There's a need and a desire for things to heal. Um, bottom of the deck is the King of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an earth sign. That would be a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. But as a underlying energy, this indicates to me a couple of things. Um, one, you or the other person could be very much focusing upon your money or your job, however you earn your, your living. Focusing upon stability, finances, um, in particular, you, Libra, because I can see that that is really coming through for you um, because your money is looking good. So I feel like an underlying theme here is someone here is focusing on their money, focusing on their stability. Um, I'm also seeing that there's a possibility here with the King of Pentacles that there is someone who could be uh, in a connection, a previous connection. King, of, King and Queen of Pentacles is my uh, committed, married, or in a committed connection, King and Queen. So let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Nine of Cups here? Why is it Nine of Cups here for Libra? Why is the Nine of Cups here for Libra? All right, we have the Page of Wands reversed, and we have the Four of Swords in the reverse. You've done a lot of healing, Libra. So I can see that there's been a, a period of time here where there's been a lack of communication. I'm seeing it um, everywhere in your, I see it in the, the relationship. I see it in your energy. I can see that you are open to communication. However, you're not going to initiate any communication. Not even a little bit. But you you would be open to it. So if this person does decide to come forward with this communication, I see that you are open to that. And in fact, you, you desire to communicate with this person. Um, why is the Ace of Wands here? It's like you, you might still feel that there's some kind of closure that you are looking for. I'm not sure that you are wanting to move this forward, but I do see that you are looking for some communication for some reason. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Now look at that. Ace of Wands is um, <laughs> clarifying the Ace of Wands. We have the Nine of Cups reversed. And we have the Seven of Wands. Okay. So, I, I can see that there's a... With regard to the physical connection that may have existed between the two of you... Um, some of you are missing that physical connection. The Ace of Wands is a very phallic symbol, and you have it twice here. So, you know, there may be some fantasizing that is going on. Um, I'm seeing that there's a desire for a, the physical connection that, that existed. 
Um, but at the same time, I'm seeing that although you may actually want to have a new beginning with this person, there is an outside interference that you don't want. It's, it's holding this up. It's, it's holding up a new beginning. So, and I feel that it makes you feel very defensive. There's something here that's very defensive. So this person, you may feel this person is a, like they're a player, that they have, they're having relations, physical relations with another person. Because there's an element here that is outside of this connection that you find undesirable. You don't want. It's against what you are wanting. It's something that you are disappointed in. And it has to do with this new beginning or a physical relationship. So you may feel that this, this person is, you know, having physical relationships with other people outside of this connection or that they have a new beginning elsewhere. It's something that you're finding undesirable. It's something that makes you feel defensive and unhappy. Let's see uh, the bottom energy. All right, we have the Four of Wands. We have Judgment. And we have the Hierophant in reverse. Yeah, I can see that you would actually like to come back together with this person. The judgment is a reconciliation. So you're open to this, but there is something here that is outside of this connection that is slowing that down or blocking it. Now, you... You would like to reconcile with this person. I can see that there was an ending, but you would like to reconcile. And you're serious about this person. This is the Four of Wands. This speaks to marriage or commitment. Um, and in the meantime, it looks like you are working on your money. But I do feel like you would like to have a committed relationship with this person. However, there is something here that has to end in order for that to occur. And again, I'm seeing that this person is in another connection. With the Hierophant in reverse, there's a, a need for something, a commitment to end in order for this to this commitment to come back together and to become more. And this is why you have chosen to be single and to be working on your own pursuits at this time. So I feel like, Libra, you've drawn a very clear boundary here and I don't feel like you're going to budge. I feel like you you're not backing down. You're you're a bit defensive, um, and I feel like you are going to stand your ground on this. And it's not even like you really want to, because I feel like you miss this person. You're open to talking to them, but you're not coming forward to talk with them. Let's look at their energy. <clears throat> Why is the Five of Wands here in reverse? Why is the Five of Wands in reverse? Ten of Cups reversed. And the, yeah, they're, so they're focused on you. Um, they're unhappy. They're unhappy. They, they see you in this glow up period. I feel like they may be, you know, looking, um, looking in on you. Um, you may, you may cross paths with this person because they, they're aware that you're doing well. They're aware that you're looking good, that you have this glow up going on. 
They don't want to fight with you anymore. They're very, very unhappy. They're wondering also if you're unhappy. Um, I can see that they don't want to fight. They don't want to be in conflict with you. But they are very much focused on you. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here? Right, we have the Queen of Cups. So that's water sign energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So they want to come forward. They want to communicate with you. They want to say that they love you. Um, and they want to talk to you about this ending. There's something here about an ending. It could also be about a lack of money. Um, this person could be having financial problems with the Ace of Pentacles reversed. They could have lost a lot of money. So they're gonna they're gonna come forward. They're gonna talk to you about their feelings. Now, the only thing, be careful because they're gonna come forward, but there's a there could be a little bit of emotional manipulation with this as well. So be careful with that. But I am seeing that this person has lost money. See, and they see you being blessed here. You're, you've been blessed by the universe. And they see this. They see you being blessed. They've lost money. I can see that. And they're not, they're not stable financially right now. And they, but they do have feelings for you. I just feel that they're not really opening up about their feelings. It's like they're reserved in their emotions. But they are going to come forward. They're going to talk to you about both of those things. Their emotions and feelings for you. And something to do with a financial loss. Let's look at the bottom. Show me the bottom energy spirit. You may feel like this person is only coming forward um, trying to trying to um, initiate a sexual connection, which is probably going to make you feel very defensive. Two of Cups reversed. The Empress and the Devil. Yeah, they've got you on a pedestal, Libra. Um, this is a sign of Libra and Taurus. Um, we also have Gemini and Capricorn here. They have you on a pedestal. This person, they realize that you're being blessed. They see you as being abundant and prosperous. They feel like they could have a really wonderful, prosperous life with you. But they also... They know that this connection ended because of something that's toxic. Yeah, they do. They know that they, it ended. Now, they want to be able to put the, the problems that cause this ending behind the two of you. But I don't think that they are fully acknowledging the, the top, everything that is toxic that led to this ending. It's like they're not acknowledging it or they're not fully, um, fully aware, perhaps. I also feel like this person didn't know that they were going to have such a strong bond with you as they do. And they do. They they feel that very, very strong bond. They can't understand why that is. But they definitely know that there's a toxic element here and that something else has to end in order for the two of you to move forward. But they, they have put you on a pedestal, Libra. They definitely have. So...
If you think that this person is not holding you in a high regard, it's not true. They really are. I feel like they're going to come forward. They're going to talk to you. It's going to happen very suddenly. Let's look at the energy between the two of you. Now, I can see right now there's no communication, although I feel like one or both of you is holding back. Because there is a desire, and I can feel like, I feel like at least one of you, if not both, is there's a desire for the communication. <clears throat> yeah, King of Pentacles reversed. And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so you are you are going to talk with this person if they do come forward. Like I said, I don't see you initiating any conversation with them but what you want to talk to them about is have you ended this other connection are you free to be in a connection are you single are you um are you still in another connection that's what you're that's what you're going to talk to them about you may also talk to them about the loss that you have felt since uh, since they've been gone. So, if this person breaks down the walls that they've built up, because there's walls here between both of you. There's definitely walls that have been built up. And this person, it looks like, um, that's in your energy, Libra, they want to come forward. And I think that you want them to, but you're not willing to. It's I feel like you feel that you've been wronged. And that's why you're not willing to. Now, in their energy, they have the will of fortune. So, there is going to be a change here. And it's going to be a positive change. What's going to change? Well, this lack of communication. And that the communication is going to change. The lack of communication is going to change. And it's going to be what takes the two of you out of this conflict that has happened and it will change the unhappiness that this person is experiencing. So a change is coming. And it's going to be initiated from their side. Um, why is the chariot in reverse? Yeah, it's definitely, it's a positive change though. And I also feel like this person is desiring to change things, um, not only between the two of you, but for you is what I'm hearing. All right, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So Libra, this is your energy here. And we have the Magician in the reverse. So why are things not moving forward? And this is what's affecting this connection. Why? Well, because you've been very angry and very defensive. And the reason you've been very angry and defensive is because things did not go the way that you had thought they would, the way you had wished. There was a new beginning that was either a false beginning or the beginning failed with this ending. Or there's a delay in a new beginning. But regardless... Things did not go the way that you were hoping and the way that you wished they would. So you kind of, you were very disappointed. That disappointment was affected by outside interference in this connection. Someone interfered in the connection. And it made you feel angry, disappointed, um, defensive. Yeah, and there's a longing that's there. So that's why on your side, this connection has not moved forward. It lowered your vibration. Now on their side, I can see that things didn't manifest the way they were hoping either. And so there's a lack of manifestation. This person could be feeling that they don't have all the tools necessary to make this happen. So there could be some feelings of inadequacy here. They are loving you 
but very reserved with their emotions, and that's affecting this. And there's been a financial loss here. Um, so this person has lost financially, and they have lost stability as a result. And so they, all of this is affecting, between that, the loss of finances, the loss of stability, insecurities are present, and they have a reserve on their emotions. It's not that they don't have those emotions for you. They're just reserved. All of this is also keeping, on from their side, keeping this connection from moving forward successfully as well. Now, they're going to change this, and the way that they're going to change this is that communication. And I feel like it's going to be a sudden change, like uh, just out of the blue. Like they're just going to just very quickly say, you know what, I've had enough, and just, you know, they're going to show up. I feel like they're just going to, they're just going to very quickly make the decision that they're going to communicate with you. And that's where that change is going to come from. Now let's look at your outcome, Libra. Show me the outcome, Spirit. Show me the outcome at the end of this week. Show me the outcome, please. All right. So we have clarifying temperance in reverse. We have the seven of cups. We have the ten of wands. And we have the star in reverse. Yeah. So I don't see this. I don't see this um, being healed by the end of the week, Libra. And the reason I say that is because temperance is in the reverse. So there's still a bit of emotional imbalance here. There's confusion. There's, um, you know, both parties here are looking at options, looking at ways um, to, for you, you're looking at all the problems that are present and how, how to resolve those problems and how to bring balance back into your life as well as into this connection. So you may be feeling pretty overwhelmed by the end of the week. Um, just burdened, burdened. And a lot of it has to do with this person having options and wondering if this person has ended this connection with another person. For the person in your energy, I do feel that they also are trying to look at options, but they feel kind of hopeless about it. They There's something here that they're hoping for that didn't come through, and they don't see a way. They're confused. They don't see how to make something happen here. They definitely don't know how to heal this connection. And it's because there's still the toxic energy. So I feel like this person is still involved in a, another connection. I don't feel that they've ended it. This leaves you feeling very burdened. It's bringing confusion. And there's a sense of this person not, not really... Um, not really understanding what it is that they need to do or refusing to see possibly what it is that they need to do because there's confusion here. This confusion has to do with options and it has to do with toxic energy. And that's the other connection. And so it's preventing the healing and until this person is willing to recognize that, acknowledge it, and actually deal with it, it's just not going to, the connection's not going to heal. Let me pull one more card for each side and see if there's more clarification. We 
have the Four of Cups, Page of Cups reversed, and we have the Fool. Yeah, so they're they're hoping for a new beginning, to take a risk to have this new beginning, but I I see that there's confusion. It's um. I don't see you accepting this, and it's because there's still third party energy. So there's a cup of love that's being handed, but this person, Libra, which is you. You can't see it because you're so focused on this being third party, which is creating the confusion, preventing the healing, and it's causing a burden for you. So you're going to turn that cup down. You're going to say no. And the person that you're connected with, it's going to um, prevent this, this new beginning that they're hoping for. So they're going to feel disappointed. It's almost like they're refusing to acknowledge that there is something really toxic. It's like they just don't want to acknowledge it. They want to they wanna keep it hidden. And it just doesn't work that way. And I feel like you are not willing to play that game with them. I don't know. Maybe in the past that was the case. But you're not, you're not playing that game with them, Libra. But they're going to try. That's, that's the game they're trying to play. All right, bottom of the deck, you have the three of coins. So, you know, that does speak to an attempt to build a foundation, to cooperate. Um, there is a soul contract that I see that's present here, but I'm also seeing that there's still third-party energy, and that is going to affect this connection. All right, I'm going to pull from the Hidden Truth Oracle, and we'll see if there's any messages that need to come out. Yeah, I just see you standing your ground, Libra. I don't see you moving forward um, with this person as long as there's this third-party energy. And I feel like you've been very, very firm about this, and that's why you're not wanting to come forward with the communication. You're really holding back from that. All right, so on your side, it says, um, I want to tell you how I feel. Yeah, and I can see that. You do. You want to tell this person how you feel. I feel you leaving me behind. I feel like both of you are feeling that. Um, I want to be more than friends. Yeah, I feel like both of you are feeling that too. And... I can't stop thinking about you. And that's definitely your person because I can see that in their energy for sure. I think you're both thinking about each other, but um, there, there is a third party that's preventing this connection from coming together. And your person is trying to sweep that under the rug or to not acknowledge it. And it just doesn't work that way. And you're not going to let that... You're not going to let that happen. So, I don't know. All right. I hope this has been helpful for you, Libra. Um, if you are interested in a private reading, that information can be found in the box beneath this video. And if you would like to participate in the Amazon gift card giveaways, um, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button and also leave me a comment. Until I see you guys next week in the weekly reading, namaste.